Good morning, guys. Good, good morning. morning. Getting you ready for the 32nd Anniversary Awards Gala for the Third Good Marshall College Fund. How you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. I'm so excited about this gala. Great talking to you guys this morning. Thanks for having me. You know, um, I, I was a HBCU student. I went to North Carolina a and uh, During my junior year, I fell on tough times. You know, we, we really couldn't afford the tuition. Uh, and so I was almost in a position where I had to, to back out of school. And I had, a, I had a, a counselor that told me about the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund at the time. It was called the Scholarship Fund. And she actually helped me fill it out. And they gave me the money that kept me in school. Wow. And if it wasn't for that, I'm not sure, you know, where, where things would have been. I would have had to drop out, um, probably get a job. Things would have been different for me uh, in my, 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 my career at the time. So if it, I'm, a, I'm a product of the program. I've mm. met so many incredible young people. And like you said, with those, those scholars that you met, it's just it's incredible what a little nudge can do. And so uh, I'm just proud to be the ambassador, and I'm excited about the gala this Saturday. What do you have to say to those students that are kind of feeling like, well, a lot of people are applying to those scholarships. I'm not. I'm just not going to do it. What do you have to say to them? I mean, two things. One is for for me, I my my GPA wasn't high. You know, I was I was almost on academic probation. I didn't get the scholarship because I had a 4.0. Uh, the there's so many different types of scholarships under their organization. So they have those for those that are struggling and they have those for those that are at the top of their class. Mm. So you, you got to look on the website to see where, where the money is. And what I always say to anybody applying to anything is, you know, if you hang around the barbershop long enough, you're going to get a cut. <laughs> so if you apply for enough scholarships, if you if you are aggressive and going after it, you're going to get it because there's so many other people that feel like they're not going to get the scholarship and that they, they don't apply, that there, there's a lot of opportunity there. So I would just say close mouths, don't get fed. Mm-hmm. Check out cmcf.org. There's so many different scholarships, so many different opportunities, and you can take advantage of them. And I do see that you're still very heavily involved in a lot of HBCUs. Like you just hosted the Howard Homecoming. We saw you down there. And, um, you know, you've been very successful throughout your career. And we also see you now on Power Confidential. <laughs> so what do you have? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you have coming forward? Can we um, see you on maybe a star show soon? You know, we're, we're, we're talking about this deal. Uh, still a long way to go uh, for this season of Power. And, um, you know, there's so many twists and turns. I really can't even talk about the, the Power Stars thing because uh, I don't want Courtney Kemp to, get, to come beat me up. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just – it's it's been a great relationship with them. It's it's always a blessing, especially when you, you've been in the game a long time, to, to have a show that comes out of nowhere that's a hit show like this has been. So uh, I, I hope you guys are enjoying the ride. Trust me, there's a lot more this season. This season is just getting warmed up. We look forward to seeing you on Power uh, Book 2 because I feel like you'll be starring and one of the stars in that. So I'm going to just take it like that. All right, all right. Yeah, Terrence, I was gonna say I love I love just in general your your pivoting throughout your career. You know, going from hosting 106 in Park to then acting and now producing. Is there anything any projects that you're looking to produce in the near future? Yeah, I mean we we got a full slate. Um, I'm still in my MTV development deal uh, at Viacom. So you know, last year alone we had five different shows that were on the air. Uh, three that I was on and then uh, two that, that I just produced. So from award shows and red carpet to non-scripted and scripted um, to a film we're developing, uh, I, I, I always keep my pulse on great scripts and great projects. And, and yeah, I love producing. I'm getting, I'm only getting older and not as good looking. So I got to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm as good behind the camera as I'm, I am. That's, that's not what the ladies soon, are saying, soon there'll TJ. Be a day where I can't step in front of it. So I, I'll make sure there's a, a much sharper <laughs> young, uh, young lady that, that, that we can put on there to, 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 to make things look good.
we seem to think the ladies are still after yeah, you, TJ. Yeah, I don't TJ. think that's, that's an issue for the next little, a few years. I think you got a little time I'm on just, that. I'm just trying, to, just trying to raise money for the scholarship. That's it. I'm the scholarship. Well, well, having you there, I'm pretty sure will bring a lot of uh, young women candidates out. So let's get them out there. <laughs>